Hello friends, welcome to Easy Homemade Projects. In today's video, I will show you how to make double head automatic bottle filling machine. So you can use this machine for your educational project or even you can use this machine for your small business. This is a timer based filling machine. So we can fill from 50 ml to 40 liters with the help of this machine. This video is sponsored by YY Fabrication. They provide one of the best PCB manufacturing and assembling services from China. YY Fabrication is committed to provide customers with professional, high quality and fast PCB assembly turnkey solutions. You can get $100 off for your first order. To place your first order, you can get an instant quotation here. So here we will need to fill up this form according to our requirements. So first of all, we will select this prototype and uh, here we will write the name for our project. And uh, here we will select the time frame. I am going to select this one. And uh, here we can set the quantity of the PCBs I will set it to let's say 5 minimum you can order 2 pieces and uh, then we will need to click here here we will need to drop our bill of material file so here you can see there are 16 parts in our bill of material file and uh, here we can see that there are issues found with 2 parts so here we can set an option so i will choose this option so the yy fabrication will solve the problem their self and they will arrange the part for the pcb and now we will click here here at this page we will need to set parameters for our pcb so the width is 100 mm and the length is 90 mm and uh, the thickness that we want is 1.6 mm and our PCB is double layer and uh, we will choose the black color and uh, all other things will be same as shown here so now we will need to click here and uh, it bring us to a new page and after checking all these parameters we will need to click here ok so now at this page we can check the quotation price for our assembled PCBs and uh, now we will need to upload the Gerber files here and after that we will need to click here to check out so guys after a few days I got our assembled PCBs from YY fabrication. So here is the box. Let me open it and show you our new assembled PCBs. Nicely soldered all the components. As you can see the PCB build quality is also very nice and clean. Ok guys so here I collected all the materials that are required to complete our dual head filling machine. So first of all here you can see two infrared sensors, Arduino Nano, here are some nut bolt and screws. This is our control board PCB and uh, here are two small 12 volt water pumps. This is four line Arduino LCD and uh, here are some 3D printed parts. This is pipe holder. I connected these two 6mm copper pipes here to make nozzles and uh, these pieces will be used to make the bottle holders. Here are some connecting wires. We will connect this LCD and uh, these infrared sensors with the help of these connecting wires with our control board. Here you can see some pieces of pipes. So these pieces will be used to connect the water pumps with these nozzles and uh, here you can see a large piece of wood we will construct our machine on this piece 
and this piece of wood will be used to connect the LCD and uh, this piece of hardboard will be used to connect these bottle holders. Now I am going to assemble all these components together to make our machine. Now first of all we will connect this piece of hardboard here with the help of uh, these screws. like this now this lower part of bottle holder will be connected here with the help of these nut bolts now we will connect this upper part of bottle holder and uh, this piece of wood here with the help of these screws And now this pipe connector will be connected here with the help of these nut bolts. Now make sure that bottle is going in and out easily. Here I made these two holes for the infrared sensors. So now we will connect both infrared sensors here with the help of some hot glue. Now this LCD will be connected here with the help of these wood screws. I connected this piece of hardboard here so now our control board will be connected here on it. Okay guys so now it's time to make all the wiring connections. Wiring connections are very simple so let me explain a little bit. First of all you can see this is the LCD wire connector so you will need to connect LCD wires here according to the text on the PCB and uh, here you can connect the first water pump wires and the second water pump wires will be connected here you can also check that it is written on PCB this is pump 1 and uh, this one is pump 2 similarly the first IR sensor wires will be connected with these terminals and the second IR sensor wires will be connected with these terminals Okay guys so the water pump wires and the pipes for these nozzles will be connected at the end so now it's time to burn the Arduino code. Okay guys so now after burning the Arduino code now we will need to connect the Arduino to the control board. Now before connecting the water pumps and the pipes let me power it on and show you some functions of the machine. So here I am going to connect it with DC 12 volt power supply. As you guys know that this is timer based filling machine so you can set timer for both pumps individually. Here you can see timer for pump 1 and this is timer for pump 2. Currently both are set to 2 seconds. You can set any time value with the help of these plus minus buttons. You can set time value from 0 to 60 seconds. As you can see this pointer is at timer 1 position. So now you can change the time for timer 1. Now if you want to change time settings for second timer, you will need to move the cursor downward by pressing this select button. Like this. 
and uh, now you can change the time setting for second timer and after setting the times you will need to press the save button to save these values permanently now even if you power off the machine these settings will not change as you can see here and below that you will see the total number of fillings now if we press the start button uh, the machine will give us a warning as you know that uh, there is no bottle in the holders so these are the bottles 100 ml bottles that we are going to fill with this machine so let me place them to the holders Now if we press the start button, both water pumps will be turned on and the timer will start running as you can see here. Now you will need to remove the filled bottles. If you press the start button again, it will give you a warning like this. And if we only remove one bottle, it will again give us a warning that remove both bottles. And now as you can see here, the number of fillings are 2. If you want to fill only one bottle at a time, so you can put that one bottle in any holder like this. So the machine will automatically detect that in which holder the bottle is placed. So as you can see that I placed the bottle in second holder. You will notice that only second timer will run and the first timer will not run. Okay guys, so now let me connect the water pumps and the pipes and then I will show you the proper working of the machine. Okay, so here I connected these small 12 volt water pumps and these pipes. As you can see here. And now we will place these water pumps in a bowl of water and then we will start filling bottles. So here I made the final setup for our machine. I placed these two empty bottles here and now I will press the start button to fill the bottles. As you can see this bottle is more filled as compared to this one. So we will make changes in timer settings. So I will change the timer 1 setting to let's say 2.6 seconds and uh, second timer to 2.7. Okay now we will check. I think we can increase 0 0.1 second more. And now it looks perfect. As you can see here the number of total fillings and now we will fill only one bottle. As you can see now the total number of fillings are 9 and machine fills only one bottle at this time. Now again two bottles. Now 
and now as you can see the total number of fillings are 11 so guys that's it for today's video all necessary information about this project you can find in the video description so i hope you will like my this video share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe